So they come back. So we have succeeded in dragging out of the hospital after they abandoned us. Tony, how much is your money? Ah, why do you keep doing this? Eh? I've told you to stop trying to pay me anytime I render you service. Listen, you are my love. And very soon you'll become my wife. Eh? Tony, I don't know whatever agreement or arrangement you have with my father. But let me tell you, I am not ready to get married. And even if I am, I cannot marry you. Uh, okay, let's, let's not discuss that here. Okay, just go in, do what you came here to do. I'll be here with you. No, 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 no need for that. No need for that at all. Just go. If I need you, I'll call you. Papa, good afternoon. Papa, it's fine. It's fine. I believe it's as a result of the non-stop work in the hospital that is responsible for this. She just needs enough time to get rest. Tony, you are you are a good man. And I just hope that someday you will be my son in law. <laughs> Papa, we still have enough time to walk through that. Eh? Everything will be fine. It's alright. Don't worry. I will I'll give her time to rest. Hmm? Alright. I won't trouble her anymore. Alright. Let me start going. Two million naira. Father, that's too much. Why are these people so greedy? Are they trying to extort us or something? Or do they think money grows in these parts like trees? Eh? Why are they making such outrageous demand? Oh, shut up! What impudence! You stubbornly refused to help. And now we have somebody who is willing to help. And here you're going rat, 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 about him. What's wrong with you? Father, I know. I know and I appreciate this person. All I'm saying is, too many is too much. Your Majesty. Why don't you negotiate with the person and see if you can cut it down? Like, half it. Exactly my point. If the person could cut it down half or something, I will pay. I will gladly pay. All right. Bring the one million naira willing to pay. I will complete it. Donald, your brother needs to be saved. Your Majesty, do you really want to give him two million naira? Who is this? I say, who is this? And what right do you have to put your mouth in something we are discussing? Something important? Something that is internal with the family? Who are you? Father, Father, um, she, she, she's, she's, she's my like, friend. Hey, 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 get her out. Father. Get her out of here. Get her out. Out. Father. Who gave her the effrontery? Excuse me. Get her out. Obina, get her out. Out. And listen, Obina. Need that one million naira before the end of this day. Pay it, or you see the other side of me. Yes, brother. No, babe, please, please, see, I'm just trying to, I don't know. Please, take me out of here. That's how leave my It's okay, hold on, okay? Just hold on. Why are you sending the money? Send him the money. It's better than taking the life for, for, for doing out. Send it. Let's go. Right. He came. 
He even walked into the palace and he gave one million naira for Donald's treatment. Did that come from his heart or you forced him to do that? <laughs> you know your son, Obina, and how difficult he is. <sighs> you know, sometimes I wonder why Obina will come into town. And he did not bother to know how his elder brother is feeling. How can he bother? How can Obina bother about that? Things like that don't worry him. He has other matters that will occupy his mind, occupy his time. He was running all over the town with one ragtag uh, uh, high street girl. And he even brought her here. That girl has no respect, no manners. The girl came into the palace and had no respect for royalty. No respect for even this throne. He came with a girl? And who is she? You have to ask him when you see him. Yes, I did it in there. I didn't see the way these children, their eyes are shining. Yes. You see the way their eyes are shaking like no this? Respect. No respect. No respect. You see what they're really doing? No respect. See, I don't know what Tony saw in that, that stupid girl called Nikichi. When they are beautiful girls like us, loving him. Huh. What do you mean by that? I mean, no, what do you mean by when there are beautiful girls like us loving him? You are who? See, me, I love Tony. I have loved Tony long before that, that quackness came into the picture. Now Tony no longer sees me. He no longer loves me. Eh? Well, I know you were once his girlfriend, but what I don't understand is the fact that you still love him, even after he dumped you for Okichi. I mean, what is it about him? I love Tony. I love Tony so much and I'm not going to I'm not going to give up. I am going to fight for my man. I will fight for him. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Though Africans do not encourage girls going after men. But I think you should go ahead and tell Tony you still feel something for him. Mm -hmm. He might be feeling same but too shy to talk to you. I don't know. Who knows? Okay. I'll try. Hey, I, I love try. I love him. <laughs> hey, please, I love Sonia Big. It's one I want. <laughs> hey, hey. The one that is talking. I've been calling you since last week. Come and take your keke. Eh? I have finished repairing it since last week. It's taking up space in my shop. Eh? But I was in the shop all through yesterday now. So when did you come? Mr. Ma, come and carry your keke and pay up your balance. I'm here now. Uh uh. Stop telling me all this. Uh, you will come, you will come, you will come. And you still have 3,500 in balance. Tony, good afternoon. Listen, I'm not here to argue with you. I said come to the shop and carry your keke. That's what I'm saying. Ah. I'm greeting you. Eh, uh hey, -huh, my sister, afternoon. <laughs> Do you have keke to repair? No, no. I came to see you. Yeah. See, I noticed you've been working since morning and you've not eaten, so I need something really nice for you. I mean, this morning. Oh. Yes. That is very thoughtful of you. And I really appreciate it. Is it no, don't not to worry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry, eh? I'm fine. Tony, it took me a lot to prepare this food for you. I need this especially for you. <laughs> Anorika. Yes. Let me ask you this question. Okay. What exactly do you want from me? I don't understand. What do you mean? What is it that you don't understand? Eh? You keep bombarding me with different gifts. Even the ones that are awkward. So I'm asking you again, Anna. What exactly do you want from me? 
You know what? It's fine. Just forget about it. I'm sorry. Hang on, eh? This one your face. She like a man. Oh, bro, Nico. Hang on, eh? Yeah, brother. What happened? Yeah. Brother? What happened? Mm hmm You can't read you now. Mm hmm Mr. Gehazi, since you want to find out what the problem is, why don't you go after her and find out for yourself? Eh? Hey! I believe that this thing this guy is carrying is food. You and you, Mr. Elisha, rejected it. Eh? And now, Monday, Alwe Megomi, if it is that girl in Kechi that brings this food for you, will you reject it? I know you not <laughs> try it. James, with due respect, don't you ever mention her name there again. If you try it, eh? Ah, what I will do to you, you will not like me. Brother, but you go only have food. You allow this guy to carry this food and go back. James, and I, I, go, I, I, I go, I go the one now. Where are you coming from? Afana, where are you coming from? Uh-uh. Aurika! Auri! Uh-uh. What is wrong with her? Auri! Lika, my love. Hi. What a number. Lika, what is it? Uh, see. Why are you sad? And you are even crying. In this village, who beats you? Whoever it is. By the time I'm through with the person, the person will know whose girlfriend you are. Beatimuti, leave me alone. I don't want you. Why can't you let me rest in this village? Every time you see me, you're always stopping me. Leave me alone, I don't want you. I, I cannot leave you alone, Angoleka. I cannot, you're the only person for me now. Why would I leave you alone? Look, I love you. I love you so much. Yeah, I don't love you. It is Tony that I love. Tony is the man after my heart. Leave me alone. Tony. Tony Okoya? Eh. Oh, I see the condition now. Tony, 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 Tony. See the condition. Yeah. Every time you are depressed, you are crying, you are heartbroken. Yeah, Tony. Leave me. Angulika, see. Your name is Angulika. Mm -hmm. And Angulika simply means my joy is paramount. Akuko. Eh? See, Angulika, put me in the position to make this name come to fruition. I will make it manifest. Yeah, bro, every time, Tony, Tony, and you are sad, you are depressed. Eh? Yeah. Timothy, this will be the very first and the last time I'm going to warn you. Stay away from me. If you see me again, I'll stop you. I will stop you. Stop you. Stop you. I'm even trying to make you happy. But what is even wrong with women in this village? Generally. Eh? Always choosing sadness after joy. Rubbish, I don't pump, okay? Let me come like that again. This doctor is taking too long in coming. 
I hope all is well and the kidneys matched. He had better match. Else he will refund every single penny that was given to him. I know it will work because my son does not smoke cigarettes. He doesn't even drink alcohol. I don't see anything that will make him not match. Okay. Okay. Do what? Like I said, he had better match. Will you keep quiet and allow me to think? What is it? No, no, uh, I was beginning to have palpitation, waiting. <laughs> I, I hope all is well and uh, the kidneys. I'm sorry, Your Majesty, it didn't work out. There is a serious strain of STD infection in the kidney. Syphilis precisely. And if we proceed to use it, it will affect the prince after a while, Your Majesty. Hey! God, why? Why, God, why are you hurting my son? <laughs> now that the kidney for donation is not working, I would advise your son here we found every single penny that was given to him so that we can pay for another. You had him right. Papa. Eh? Your, your Majesty. My Prince. I don't refund money paid. Once money has been paid to me, I don't refund it. I mean, Papa. How am I? Timothy! I command you to stop there. Enough of all this. Please, enough! Ah! Leave him alone. He has earned his money. Let him go. Father. Igwe. To try and get a hold of yourself. Crying like this will only worsen your situation. It's not good for your health. Please. What's the essence of staying alive? If I'm going to remain a vegetable. No one, no one at all is willing to help me. What am I supposed to do? The one person who volunteered to help has STD. What? 
Mais qu'est-ce qu'il fait de Prince, you have to believe in miracles. Anything can happen. Give me a Miracles are only fragments of our imaginations. They are not real. Mm. That's not true. I believe someone was to come through for you. I have this feeling someone will volunteer to help you. But you have to stay positive. should I do? He is in severe pain and dying slowly. It hurts me to see a vibrant and active young man like this wasting. Why is there no one to help him? Is it his face to die? So sorry for keeping you waiting for so long. Please. It's alright, Jonathan. Yeah. That reminds me. You say you want to tell me something. Yes, Doctor. I would like you to run a test on me to see if I can be a match to donate my kidney for Prince Donald. Are you saying you want to be his donor, Nancy Kitchen? He's suffering. He's passing through pains. And he keeps tearing me into pieces day and night. So let me help him. And by so doing, I'll be helping myself from the torture I endure watching him suffer. Professionally, medically, Nasengeji, I hope you realize the implication of what you want to do. Yes, Doctor. Good. I'll tell the lab to run the test on you. 
then I'll take it up from there. Obi. Obi, I'm very sorry for the way I treated you in the past. I'm very sorry for everything that I did to you that made you stop talking to me. I really care about you and I, I promise I will not offend you again. Okay? See, since you left my life, eh, I've, I've, I've really missed you. It's not been the same without you. I want you back, baby. Tony. Obi. Obi. Huh? Sorry. What is it you were saying? You didn't, you didn't hear everything I just said. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What is it you were saying? Wait, Tony, you mean to say everything I just said, now you did not hear me? Eh? Anurika. Tony. Anurika. Tony. Listen, I don't have the time for all these your many talks. What is it you were saying? And if you can't say it again, then please allow me to focus on what I'm doing. I don't have the strength for nagging right now. I'm very busy as you can oh, see. Oh, so I'm the one nagging you, Tony. I am nagging you now. If it's that stupid girl called Nkechi, you will listen to her. Everything she says, you will hear her. But now I'm nagging you because I'm calling you to beg you. Tony! 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 You're walking out on me, Abby. There is good news. Nursing Kechi has volunteered to donate her kid. What? To save Prince Donald. Great! Great! Chano? Nursing Kechi, is she not the maiden that is taking care of my son, Prince Donald? Exactly, ma'am. Come. <laughs> I've also run a test on her. She's a perfect match. Ah, 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 You know what it means if your brother, Prince Donald, succeeds and returns back to this palace, hailed and hearty. You do. It simply means that your chances of becoming the king of this palace will be ruined. He may probably not smell the throne at all. Are you sure? of you to be thinking of a solution. Eh? You are here reminding me of my loss. You are the prince. The man. Think of something. I mean, come up with something meaningful. Whatever you decide, I am solidly behind you. I can assure you. I need something strong. Honestly, baby, I don't know what I did to Tony to make him hate me this much. There is nothing I've not done for Tony to come back to me. Nothing seemed to work. I'm then tired. Then leave him. Yes, stop going there and save the, what is left of your dignity. After you have Timothy who's been asking you to be his girl but you refused. Say yes to Timothy. Who? That one. That loafer. That never do well. See, I'd rather die. <laughs> See? People change. You never can tell. You might be the one to change him. Just give him a chance. You know, I thought you loved me. Uh -huh. I thought you are my friend. I'm your friend now and I love you. No, you don't love me. If you love me, you will not be telling me to go meet Timothy. That's never do well. That stupid boy. So you think Tony is better? Please leave me alone. Don't love me. Don't love me. So, uh -uh, where are you going to now? Anorika. Hey. Sorry if I said anything to offend you. Anorika, where? Ah, Nancy Kechi. I want to inform you that the result of the test is out. Although you are perfect to match. But, Nancy Kechi, are you sure of this? Want to do this? Yes, Doctor. Thank you. 
agree with it, then you will have to invite your relatives so that they can sign some undertaking before we can commence the surgery. Yeah. Doctor, I'm of legal age to make decisions for myself. But nevertheless, my friend will come in for me. Well, that's engaging. If you want, you can still give you some time to have your thoughts. Thoughts. That's serious. Doctor, there is nothing to think about again. I want to do this. Really? It's alright. I'll get all the papers ready. Thank you, Doctor. It's okay. Nurse Jenny, is everything ready? Yes, Doctor. Oh, good. I'll be there in a moment. Okay, Doctor. Thank you. All right. My beautiful love. Yeah. I'm not fine. Why? I am not fine and you are the cause. Timothy, leave me alone now. Uh, Timothy, leave me alone with your infected life. I don't want you. Ah! Uh, I'm not fine. Why? 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 This is the very first and the last time I'm going to warn you. Stay away from me! I'm no fear. Come on! Why don't you go? Angulika, I'm going to make sure you regret this. I promise you.
Our prince is back and fit. May the gods of our land continue to bless that maiden that donated her kidney to our prince. Hey! Exactly. That maiden, she is God sent. In fact, she is angel in human form. After the test of Ono's son, we all lost hope. Before this young maiden surfaced and gave us hope. Eh? Nietzsche. Hi. Nietzsche has a good job. When I do it, we didn't do well. Huh? Yes. I'll say. We were not there when the priest needed us most. Eh, 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 apart from uh, Ono and his son, who came to help, even though that uh, I know that uh, Maragon, they cashed out. <laughs> 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 I don't see it that way. Yeah. Prince Donald has a younger brother. Mm -hmm. Prince Donald has a host of servants. If none of them could help save his life, and you want Ndichi to come and donate kidney for us to just die, mm. don't you know we are old men? Eh? You are very correct. Exactly my take on this. No one wants to die. Considering the fact that uh, 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 outside money, what do we have to gain? Nothing. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, anyway, anyway, the most important thing is that our prince is back and healthy. Let us go. Keep on going. Let's be going. I caused the day I planted my seed in your mother's womb. Huh? So for the sake of that cause to your family, you neglected your own family and said it to stay in the hospital. You even donated your, your, your miserable kidney to that prince to, for him to stay alive. Papa, I am sorry for not telling you people. But saving lives is my responsibility. I had to do whatever I could to save his life. Don't that strike you there! Look at this unfortunate no, thing that I didn't know how, how she came to my house as, as a child. It's okay, Nai, please. Please. It is okay. Eh? You have been like this since she came back. Eh? Please. There is nothing we can do. Absolutely nothing we can do to reverse this situation. There is nothing. Wait! Who is her father? No, I'm asking who is her father? What are because you I can't imagine having this woman as my own daughter. Okafa, what are you talking about? Are you saying that I slept with another man to have my daughter? Well, anything can happen. Anything can happen and I, and, and I, I will... Be... You can say whatever. All I know is that deep down, I am sorry for not telling you. And should this opportunity present itself again, I will still do it. Eh? In my house? Please. No. No, no not in my house. No, please. I tell you, not in this house. Shut up my mouth. You will still do what? You will still donate your kidney again? Eh? Don't mind her. She you can't do that in my house. Papa, I have freedom of speech in my father's household. <laughs> I have freedom of speech. Oh, okay. I will tell you that I built this house no. and not you. No, please. 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 She will not do it again. What kind of thing is this? I will tell you that I built this house. Please, see me now. Please. Let me see you in this house. Again, but let me come back here and I'll take it to you. Sit down here! Sorry. Why? I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. Greetings, Your Highness. Good evening. Is she the girl that was challenging your father, the king? Ah, uh, mother. Jane wasn't challenging the king. Um, she was only making a suggestion, which the king misunderstood. That means she is the one. Young lady, what's your name and who is your father? My name is Jane Obiekwe. 
the only daughter of Senator Obi from the Yewa community. You are from a reputable family. But you should learn not to challenge the king whenever he's speaking. You can only talk when you are asked to. Am I understood? Yes, Your Highness. Better. Son? Yes, Mother? You look good. Thank you. So what's the occasion? Well, I... I want to pay the lady who saved my life a courtesy visit. That's so thoughtful of you. Thank nice. You. Ah, brother. Um, let's go freshen up. I'll be doing a GP, bro. I'll wait here. Jane. Mother. <laughs> uh, Donald, are you good? How are you feeling? I'm fine, my friends. And you? Well, I'm okay. I feel like I owe you my life, Ikechi. If it wasn't for you, I would still be lying very sick in the hospital bed. Thank you so much for saving my life. My prince, I heard that your father, the king, paid a Ono Wu sum, sum of two million naira for this. But they later find out that the irresponsible man has infection. Now, my prince, my daughter did that, free of charge. All you could say is, thank you. Thank you. Hey? Utu, calm down. Okay? I am here to offer your daughter more than two million naira. Your daughter's life is very important to me right now. As it is, she can no longer do anything hard, no hard labor anymore. And I understand this. Henceforth, her welfare, I will take care of it. Whatever concerns her, I will take care of it. She doesn't need to lift a finger ever again in her life. I will put her on a monthly salary so she doesn't actually need to work anymore. My prince, you don't have to do any of this. <laughs> I did what I ought to do. I insist. Mm -hmm. I will do all I have mentioned. Thank you. Thank you so much. But babe, you shouldn't have allowed your brother to propose to that pretty girl. Gosh, hmm. she reeks of poverty. Well, that poverty-stricken girl saved the Lord's life. And the donor that I know has a soft spot for a little kindness to rest of someone saving his life. What are you even saying? <laughs> this is the same thing everyone out there would do for the throne. I'm sure mm. she planned it out. Mm. No, the truth is, Donald is a man. He has every right to his own decisions. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. And 
How about his girlfriend? I mean, that one is more presentable. I don't know why he's following. Babe, can we just drop the last topic? For all I care, he, he has his right to do anything with his life, okay? Look, I just want to go in and rest my back. I miss your touches. The way he's following that girl is just not necessary. Man, it's so much. It's okay now. You're still talking. You want to follow my brother? Don't you want to follow him? What? Why don't you say <laughs> that? <laughs> what yeah, is it wrong? You no, know, just drop his topic, okay? Whatever he's doing is his business. By the way, he looks so good. <laughs> Leave me alone. Whatever. Stella speaking. Who, please? Hi, good Yeah. Who? The prince is back to the palace? Okay, you mean my prince Donald is back? Oh my god. It's fine. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. I knew my baby was going to make it. I knew. I knew. Papa, we now have a car. Papa, I told you. Mm. I told you. It's not about having a good name. It's about money. Forget that name. Name what? Papa, I just bought us a good car. Check it out. Come on. Come. Papa, look at it. Come. Us. Many, maybe you and I or us, the whole village, Papa, what do you mean by us? Is it not me and you that is living in this house? Then? Uh, remember when we used to ride down your Tuke Tuke bicycle? Now that bicycle is old fashioned. I got us a car. Your proud son got us a car. Can you listen to me now? This car is not welcome in my handbag compound. You can pack it anywhere you like. Nonsense. Papa, why do you like us fighting every time? Why do you like us fighting? Especially now I got a car. Everything you look for issues on it. Why do you want us to keep... Am I really your son? Timothy, can you listen to me? If you don't take time, I will tell you why Obama killed Osama Bin Laden. If you, if you ever pack this motor here, I will set it ablaze. You are a scallywag, a bizarre like me. About a bought car now, you've remembered Osama killed... I don't uh, want uh, uh, your uh, car uh, in my compound. If I see it here, I will set it ablaze. Period. A bought car. Return the money you used to buy this car from where you got it. That's all. If I give you one finger, if it ever happened to you, I'll give you five. I'm telling you for the last time. Let, let me go and look for bricklayers that will repair this, this our nonsense road. So I can be parking inside. I'm not here now. Burn my car now. I'll, I'll, I'll burn the whole house. <laughs> so you mean... Um... The prince came to propose to my daughter today. Yes, so, Nai. He said that 
He doesn't want her to be suffering. But I don't see that as enough reason for him to marry my daughter Nai. Huh? Well, I don't have anything to say right now. Let me wait and see the prince. When I see him, then I know what to tell him. My, you may not like her because you wanted a male child. But let me tell you, there are female children that are doing greater things now. As you can see, I am seeing the sign of it by Prince proposing to our daughter, Nkechi. Well, as I have said before, I really don't have much to say until I see the place. <sighs> and uh, for your information, this orange you gave me has increased my appetite for my, oh. for my food. <laughs> <laughs> so go and bring my food. <laughs> That's no problem. No, Let me no. go and bring your food <laughs> right now. Mm. Uh, Nai, just keep thinking about it. Oh, I will. Uh -huh. think about it. of Tony and that is small kick and a bit. Now I have a car. Let's see if we do this kind of guy again. Rumors. That you now have a very beautiful car. Oh, you like it? I love it. <laughs> you do? Yes. Oh, but if you don't, if you don't mind, I can um, give you a lift to wherever you're going to. Something mm -hmm. is in your hair. Mm. Timothy! Mm. <laughs> I really like you. Forget. No, mm. I was busy doing your you know how females behave. <laughs> no, I really like you. You're such a gentleman. It's my money. I will. Mm. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. You like it? Just as I like you. <laughs> You're so nice. Thank you. Mm. I really miss you. Mm. Mm. You finish this one. There is more. Madam, you go bring more. Hey, God, dear. <laughs> Tame, hey, God. Say, Marty, mm. I really like you. I feel um, mm. I'm a bit pressed. Okay. Um, madam, madam, where can I ease myself, please? Is there a bathroom at the back? Yes. Okay, I'll be back now. Yeah. You want me to go back? Uh, don't worry, I will, I will come back to it. Let me. Do you want to mm. <laughs> It's my money. I Leg of this thing. 
Did I not tell you that you will pay for the insult? You are insulting a whole Timothy. Timo. Rubbish. Let me see how you will pay for everything we drank on that table and even the meat we ate. Shameless idiot. Go digger. serious you mean Timothy did that to you why will he be that wicked and mean towards you no no I'm, I'm not close okay I'll bring the money as soon as I come back from Aguata maybe in the evening okay <coughs> <laughs> that serves her right. <laughs> Can you imagine? That you really think she she's she smart or wise. Forget it. After insulting me, eh? She wants to come and put base on my head. Eat. She, you need to see the way she was ordering. Give me Wabi. Give me Oroko. I know this Anna. One. I know what she got. Mama, I bag a sharp guy like me. <laughs> Do you know that? I actually begged her to accept you. I mean, I pleaded with her to accept you. But she refused. She kept throwing herself on Tony, who is no longer interested in her. Leave that useless human being. Leave that human being. She will soon discover what she has done to us. I swear. Um, <laughs> See the way um, she's explaining it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. Are you sure it's going to work? Your Highness, you look so beautiful. I've actually missed the palace. Um, your Highness, I'm sorry I've not been around because I traveled to Ghana. I went to sign a deal for my father's company and the client said they would want to see me. I had to go. <laughs> really? Yes, Your Highness. I'm sorry. Oh, you actually went to Ghana? Yes, Your Highness. For a deal for my father's company. Yeah, that's nice. Thank you, Your Highness. So tell me, why didn't you call? Why do you have to wait till the news of my son's recovery before you resurface? Um, actually, um, Your Highness, um, because, uh, Your Highness, you know how much I love Donald. I love Donald so much. Mm -hmm. I had to leave the deal. I said, no, I must be in Nigeria. I must come and see Donald. Yes, and that is why I came. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Really? Wow. Good girl. My son's wife. I am <laughs> Wife material. Mm -mm. You're welcome back. Get out of here this minute. I said get out. I don't want to ever see your ugly face around this palace unless you want to invoke my route. I said get out. I have to talk to 
her now. I explain to you. See, I, I, I actually. God, how do I live without them out? My life is in Donald's hand. Please, Your Highness, please, please. I'm begging you, please. Well, if you want to die, die outside this palace. Ah. Mock me? What? Oh, come out of your high horse. I am here to help you. But I've heard a lot about you. If you must know, my name is Jane, and I am Prince Obina's girlfriend. I know you are dating Prince Donald. I don't want to ask what happened, but whatever it is, it's not enough reason for him to dump you for that bedridden poverty. Idiot of a girl. Hold on a minute. Did you just say dating? He's seen someone else? You heard me right. And I will advise you to hang around and wait for him to return instead of leaving. Okay, so he, he's not around, right? Yes. And I am sure he is with that girl. Who is this girl? My praise. Yes. Why did you ask me to marry you? Is it out of pity or you feel indebted to me? Well, none of what you just mentioned now was the reason I asked for your hand in marriage. See, while I was lying down, sick, in the hospital bed, I thought I was going to die. I gave up. But your tender care melted my heart. Your Sorona's voice, when you sang those beautiful melodious songs or even when you laughed they helped me and while in that bed I said a prayer to God I said God if you heal me and take me out of this sick bed in one piece I will marry this beautiful lady. So I am here, not only to do right by you, but to fulfill the promises and vows I made to God. My prince, what I did for you while you were in the hospital as your nurse is something that anyone could do. I don't see anything really special in it. You're right about that. It is something that anyone could have done. Yet no one did it for me. Except you. That is what makes you very special to me. Let me tell you a little story. There were three people who lived in a house and their names were everyone, anyone, and no one. They were given a task to do and this task was meant for everyone. But no one did it. 
no one at all was willing to do the task. And at the end of the day, that work was left undone. So tell me, in your own opinion, who do you think is to be blamed? Everyone. Because the job is everyone's job. Well, that is where you got it wrong. Yes, the job is for everyone. But no one was willing to do it. Anyone, I mean, could have done it. But no one lifted a finger to do the job. You know, I once loved a lady very much. And there was my brother too, whom I cherish very much. But no one was willing to help me. No one. Not even my biological brother was willing to put his life down for me. Until you came from nowhere. You did not know me. But you were willing to put your life down for me. I am not asking you to marry me because, because I feel pity for you. I am the one who is, who should be indebted to you. But no, I am also not asking you to marry me because I am indebted to you. Right there in my sick bed, I fell helplessly in love with you. Nkechi, I love you with every fiber in my body. I was told you wanted to see me. Oh, my love. I have missed you. <sighs> okay, I've been calling you for a while now. You refuse to pick the calls. I've been here for like two hours waiting for you. You refuse to pick your calls. Why? Stella, is that the reason you came here? Oh, <laughs> you came to confirm if I am truly alive or dead. Stop it. Just stop. Stop it already. How could you say a thing like this? I've not been in the country for like one or two weeks now. I'm so sorry. I went to Ghana for my father's deal. I went to seal a contract and guess what? It went through. <laughs> and I just got back like two days ago and I had you around. I said, no, I must come and see my friends. I have missed you, my darling. Stop calling me your darling. I am not your darling, and I will never be your darling. Stella, listen to me. I have moved on. I will advise you to do the same. No, that's not happening. I am your betrothed, and nothing happens without me. I love you, and that is it. I mean, you, 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 come on, Prince. You can't do this. You can't. I love you, and you know... Dad! Oh, you want him to come take my bags in? That's fine. <laughs> Hurry up! God! My prince. Make sure she leaves this compound with me. Yes, my prince. Baby! Prince! Don't out! You can't do this. Very 
stupid of you! My wrist! My wrist! Hey. Will you get out of my way? Never. Leave now! Never. Get out! Leave me now. You think I'm a bitch, young woman? Be wise and leave now. Shut up your mouth! Are you stupid? The prince has given an instruction. It is either you leave now or I'll do something stupid to you. It was me that is that slap. That bastard slapped me. Ah. Hey! That bastard slapped me. That bastard slapped me. Ah! 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 This one pin me. This one pin me. This one pin me. This one pin me. That idiot insulted me and slapped me, embarrassed me, me! Ah! Ah! I will kill those guys one by one. I will make sure I kill all of them one by one. Hey! Okay. Why I just do like say nothing happened? Stella, respect yourself and I'm free. Is she what a penny of your thoughts? I mean, Stella, I know you were thinking about her. Ah, uh, you've paid her in her own coin. Stella is not worth being in my thoughts. I'm not thinking about her at all. Brother, what do you make of Nkechi? Hmm. Well, truthfully speaking, Kichi is, um, it's not your type, but she's worth it. Uh, she doesn't belong to our highway of living. Not at all. Yeah. She's poor and poverty has a way of affecting the mind. But if you ask me, I would prefer her to Stella anytime, any day. I see. Well, if her poor status is the only thing that you see in her, I don't think that's a problem for me. She might be poor in material things, but that lady is very rich at heart. I see you love us very much. Yes, I do. Good then, brother. Follow your heart. I'll leave it to your thinking while I go attend to some things. Sweetheart. Talk to you about your brother, Prince Donna. Yeah, you can. Well, baby, it's about the young woman he proposed to. Look, I'll suggest you just forget about it. Okay? Mm. 
Because it's nothing you and I can do about it. I know. There is nothing you or I can do about it. Who can suggest for him? Listen. Look at Stella. And the kind of class that exudes from her. You know your brother is making a huge mistake by choosing that dirty girl in Kichi over Stella. You know. I know he's doing it out of pity, but you should think about your brother and what the future will bring for him. Look, I know you have a point in the future, but the truth is in that future I'll be married to you. And the only thing that will be on my mind is how to give my children the better life they deserve. And maybe by then, Prince Donald will be king, you know? And, um, look, you know what? Babe, just leave the man to whatever he chooses, okay? She got I know, but it is... Babe, there are no buts. Look, all I want to do now is be with my lady, okay? And stop brooding over Oh, what the man loses or not. Okay, now come. Come, come over, come. I miss you here already. Baby. Hey, it's okay. I'm talking about your brother. I know. Huh? Give him to what he chooses. Okay? Again. I go pay you. My ogre, they come. You go peace. Just wait. It's morning saying they come. Ogre? Your boyfriend? They come. You, okay, you go peace. Uh, I think, you mate, you when I go outside that time, you cannot do that again, no? Eh? Uh, you don't go. You don't go. Wait, make I go check. No, no. You know what I'm going to do? I know they run. Make I just go check whether I did for you. You need to calm down. You're not dead there again. Don't worry. Okay, I know they run. 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 Son, your majesty. 
Since you returned from the hospital, have you been able to make contact with that kind lady who saved your life? Yes, Father, I have. Oh, you have? Beautiful. Yes, Father. Well, that means you, you know where she lives? Of course I do. Oh, that's good. That's it. In that case, you... Uh, maybe you will run this errand. Go to her. You need, we need to invite her for dinner to thank her for money for what she did for saving your life. Ooh. That's very thoughtful of you, Father. Very, very thoughtful. Thank you. I'll run along the minute. Can it just a one? Why? Hey, your son appears very happy. It's like uh, uh, it's uh, it's something she's been he's been expecting more or less. Eh? Of course, what do you expect? I off, remember. Off, off the <laughs> What Wait, do you expect, is, Daddy? Is it, is it, is it is it love? Have you forgotten they have things in common? Yes, I know. I know. My friends, get the maidens ready. Get all the cars ready. We live in five. Yes, my friends. Thank you so much for coming out. <sighs> you know you're not my sister, right? Yes. Well, you don't need to thank me yet. What you have to do is to do whatever it takes to win Prince Donald's love back. But I cannot have that smelling nose as co wife. I can't stand her. But I don't know. He just doesn't want to see me. I've, I've tried. He doesn't want me anymore. I know where the girl stays. Yes, let's pay her a visit. Tell her to just offer her money. Tell her to leave your man alone. Else you run her over. Just threaten her. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Should we go now? Once. Knock knock. Knock knock. Is anybody at home? Tony. Good day. Is it true? Talk to me. Tell me it's not true. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Tony. Hello, Papa. Papa, I'm not fine. I don't think I am fine. What? What? Papa, I don't understand why she will accept to marry Prince Donald after everything I've done to make her happy. Oh, that. Tony, there's no Prince Donald anywhere. Thank you, Papa. What you heard was a lie. It is you I know, and it is you that must marry her. Papa, I don't understand you. You really don't have to understand. This is the only man I know, and he's going to be your husband. Yes. young ladies. Are you the opportunist or should I say the chancer that wants to steal my man from me? Excuse me. Do I know you? Oh, I remember you. You came with Prince Donald the other time. I'm glad you have a good sense of the population. Um, whatever your name is, I, I am not here for formalities. I'm begging you to leave Donald for me. Else, I don't want to hurt your parents. Hey, 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 what you want, kid? Huh? I will not be here while you talk down on the parents. Oh, shut up! Shut up your mouth! If you don't have 15 million naira in your account, don't talk to me. Shut up! 
Zip it. Oh. So do you think everything is about money? Huh? That's your here bragging. Face bush. <laughs> My sister. 500,000 naira leave Prince Donald for me. 100 million naira. If you can raise 100 million naira, I'll let you have him for good. Who are you? A thief? No, she is a greedy bitch. Have you ever made 100 million naira in your entire life? Even if I sell this whole compound, oh, can you produce it? It's not possible. Uh, my, my daughter, don't listen to her. Make it 1 million. You can go with the prince. Papa, I am not taking anything less than 100 million euro. And that has to be in cash. Except you are the one who's going to step down for her. So if you do not have 100 million euro, bring your shoulders down. Because looking at you with your broken nails, and your flying lashes. You both do not have up to that amount. You know what it makes you? It makes you poor in currency. Not just poor in currency, but also poor at heart and character. You listen to this thing. Oh. Sweetheart, she came to offer me 500,000 naira to leave you. What a poor mindset she must have. No wonder she missed you. Stella. Hmm? Jane. Leave here at once and never ever step your feet here again. <laughs> yeah, you look very fine, my love. <laughs> Thank you. Mazindeo. Please, how are you? How are you? God. You look very beautiful.
Yes. Young lady, it was you who saved my son's life, right? Yes, Your Majesty. My dear, you don't know how much what you did means to me. Thank you for saving my son's life. You're welcome, Your Highness. Dad? Yes. <clears throat> Mom, I also want to use this... Um, opportunity to um, to let you know that I will be getting married to Ngechi. Great! This is good! Yes! She's beautiful. She's intelligent. And above all, she has a large heart. And she'll make a good wife too. Just hold it. There. Let me pretend that I didn't hear what I heard here. Some. An important issue of this nature ought to have been discussed with me. And you know that. You're right, my husband. Pretty girl. Girl with a large heart. <laughs> Tell me. What's your name, Monday? Tell me, I mean, your. Which family do you come from? Your Majesty. Yes. My name is Nkechi Okafo. I am from this kingdom, Amaru clan. Are you from Oka from Badi's family? Yes, Your Majesty. I see. Oka from Badi is actually your great grandfather, right? Correct, mm -hmm. Your Majesty. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Ah. Son. Yes, I'm right. I'm afraid this marriage will not hold. This girl's family is an enemy to the throne. Right from time. Yes. Right now, I want this girl out of this place. Darling. Um, 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 Father, I think you should just come down. Let's, let's when... Never tell me to come down. I will draw out your tongue and slash it into bits. And still stuff it down your throat. I said, I want this girl out of this place. I want this girl out of this place. Out! Take this girl out of this place. My husband. Did you hear me? This girl out of this place. Darling. I want her out. Final! Final! What did I do? I'm very confused. How did I wrong the king? You did not do anything, my love. Okay? I've got your back. You're not leaving this place. Alright? I would not stop loving you. No one would make me stop loving you. Go now. Um, 
I don't know what you did, but please, son, take her out of this place so that your father don't hurt her. She is not leaving this place. Nobody should push it, okay? What is this girl still doing here? What are you still doing here? I said, out! Hey. Girls! Your eyes. Come on! Why go her out? No one touches her! I brought her to this palace and I would take her out of this palace in one piece. You are daring me, son. I am not daring you, father, but I need to understand what she did. You are daring me. out please listen to your father okay don't go son Going to on this hill. Oh, uh, my name is Timothy. What's your name? Hello, that's me. I said my name is Timothy. What's your name? I am not in the mood to talk to strangers. Please, please, no, no, excuse me. Are you mad or something? I said what? leave me alone. You slapped me. You just effed up behind you. Hear from me. Hey, Nai, you mean the prince came here and took our daughter with him? Yes. Yes. Hey, you needed to see our daughter looking so beautiful and radiant. You know, I I hate uh, the royal family. In fact, I grew up learning to hate. But with what I saw today, I think I'm reconsidering my earlier stance on our daughter marrying from the royal family. Is that so? Well, my husband, since you are the one saying this, I think it is good for her and to us, her parents. If I must say the truth, huh? money is good. Money is good. Oh! <laughs> I wish I'm around. Oh my God. What is it? Baby, what is it? Why are you crying? Oh my God! Ada, what is this? Talk to me. What is pursuing you? What happened? Huh? Talk to me. Talk to me. Stop crying. It's okay. Who oh, is pursuing you? Who is after you? Huh? What, what happened? <laughs> it's okay. Stop crying now, my daughter. 
goodness. What is all this? Huh? Kitty, talk to me. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. What happened? Papa, what history do you have with the king? He threw me out in a very embarrassing manner. The moment he heard I am your daughter. <laughs> so the king asked you to leave his house and you're here crying? Huh? Is the palace your house? The wisest thing to have done was for you to walk away with your dignity and not let him repeat himself to send you out. Nay, is this all you have to say? Yes. What right has she to be angry when that place is not her house? <laughs> Oh, stop crying. Stop wetting your beautiful face with tears. Stop. It's okay. Mama. My dear. Why is Papa always cold towards me? Why? Don't mind your father, please. Stop. <laughs> it's okay. Stop crying. Stop wetting your beautiful face with tears, please. Please, my daughter, please. It's okay. It's okay. It's going to be fine. Father, I demand an explanation for the embarrassment you gave my guest today. Well, as your father, I owe you none. As your son, I demand one. What's going on here? Is this the appreciation you wanted to show to a girl who saved the life of the crown prince of this kingdom? The heir apparent to this throne? Is this what you do to her? Is this how to treat her? This girl stood and gave her life for me. When nobody else was willing to do so, not even you or my mother was willing to lay their life for me. And you tell me that I do not have any right to do what I want to do? Is this how this family shows appreciation? Go on, clap for your son. He is performing. Are you finished? Well, you can go ahead and take it any way you want to take it. That girl did what she did for you. From a dead long old. Yes. She understood it and she has gotten on with her life. Go on and get on with your own life. Come on. A young man like you ought to sail with the wind. Yes, you have to learn to sail with the wind. The girl has got her, gotten on with her life. Yes. Get on with your own life. Get on with it. Live it. Live your life. so disappointed in you. Mother, so you're going to sit there and let my father do this? Where is your conscience? Where is your conscience? Father, where is your conscience? Just so you know, do not have any life to live that Inkechi did not make you possible. So I will not live this life without her in my life. So you should know also. I am telling you not just as your father. I am commanding you as your king. Have you ever commanded 
any of your subjects not to get married to his choice of a life partner? Have you? No, you haven't. No, you haven't. So you do not have any power to command me not to do what I want to do. I have said my peace and I will do as I please. Of what? Oh, Mene. Nee, Kona. You don't want to applaud him. A big performer. Okwana. But listen. Warn him. Warn your son. Warn him. Let him not find this ember of hatred that is creeping in this family. Warn him. But darling, you still have not told us what went wrong. I mean, you owe us an explanation on what this Medin's family did to you that made you react the way you did today. Yes. Every man. So I'm done with the attack from there. Now it's yours. What? no no. My prince! Open the gate! My prince! My prince! The king, he has instructed that we shouldn't let you leave the palace for any reason. And I am giving you an order as the crown prince of this kingdom to open these gates and let me pass. Please, I beg you, my prince. Please. We know you to be a very kind person. But please do not allow me to lose my life or my job. The king will not take it lightly if he finds out you're not in the palace. the squabble between the king and Prince Donald. I I heard the king embarrass his guest. The meeting that saved his life. But Look. The truth is I don't know what's going on. I'm totally lost on it. As he stands now, my father doesn't want to hear anything that has to do with a girl. Look, he hated her the moment she mentioned her family's name. It's not obvious. I mean, the king does not want his hair apparent to be tied down with a free butter. Oh, that I can't tell you. All I know is he doesn't even want to listen to any suggestion or something. Then don't say anything. Please. I mean, let the king be the king. His words are full of wisdom. Please. <laughs> I 
that they say that blood is thicker than water. Get in there, Mazi. One man is one man. I'm only a fan for one. I'm gonna go on as a Kapuana Yabo. Get in this cigar. Yabo. Get in this cigar.